Hey folks, trying something new today. Never even had, never even heard of until it popped up in my, into my Instagram feed. And it's the Mexican, Mexican shrimp cocktail. I watched this guy make it really quick, you know, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, that's really good. And there's one secret ingredient that eluded me, but I did find it. So I'm going to show you how to make it. But this is what it looks like up close so you can see how good this looks before we get to the uh, making it. And this is how it looks. You got your ketchup in there, you got your avocado, and down in there, you got your shrimp. So let me show you how to make it, and then uh, we'll give it a taste. So stay tuned. Okay, you're gonna need a pound of cooked shrimp. You could cook it yourself, but I just decided to get it cooked. An avocado, some pico de gallo. This has got everything you need. It's got the onions, the cilantro, the jalapenos, some ketchup, and this, the camaranzo. This is a shrimp flavored tomato juice, and this is the chilada flavor. So it has a lot of like Worcestershire and stuff. And this is some beer salt. And let me get this all together and then show you how to make this. So take a cocktail glass and then we want to just dip it in water because we're going to rim the, uh, the glass with this beer salt. Now this is a spicy beer salt that will, I think will go really good with this. And there we go. So now let's add, just add some shrimp. Add as much as you want. I figured uh, about, uh, I didn't weigh it, but I figured about three quarters up. That looks about right. One more. Now then, add a couple of uh, spoonfuls of the pico de gallo. You could chop up your own, you know, peppers, onions, tomatoes, cilantro. I just figured this would be quick and easy. It's It's got a good flavor to it. And then some uh, diced avocado. Just add that. Just uh, kind of kind of like a layer. You're building layers of flavors here. Looks about right. So now we're going to Put a put a splash of ketchup in here. Come on, that looks about enough. And now the star of the show, the Camaranzo tomato juice. So just top that off with the tomato juice. This would probably actually be good with a splash of tequila or vodka in it. Okay, cheers. Let's give it a taste first. Get that, get that the salt around the rim, the beer salt around the rim. Mm. That's good, really good. So let's dig, let's go for an avocado. I see why the addition of the uh, the ketchup, because the ketchup adds a nice level of sweetness. And some shrimp. Mmm. That is really good with the pico, the pico de gallo in there. Get a shrimp and some avocado. Well, there you have it, folks. That's a real winner, especially for this the summer heat. It's light, it's refreshing, it's very tasty. 
So there you have it. There's my take on the, the Mexican shrimp cocktail. It's a lot different than, you know, your traditional shrimp cocktail that has ketchup and horseradish and everything else. Give this a try. Let me know if you make it. Let me know if you like it. And as always, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.